Um, anyway, yeah, we are being unlawfully detained by policy. Islam love with men alive, bake on live. Uh, Just got pulled over by the policy and forces. What? Traffic stop. I think it was a little set up, leaving a precinct, you know, going to, uh, coming from checking Brother Raheem the law day and kidnapping, you know, from his, from his estate earlier based on the lawful claim. All right. So now as we leave in the precinct and we traveling, they pull us over. That's right. So they just got done visiting their buddy who's locked up. So because they visited their buddy. The conspiracy continues. They're getting pulled over because they went to go see him on some grievance he has while he's in there. Yeah. So if you're thinking that makes about as much sense as being a more citizen, you're right over the target. Right, they gonna right there, they're detaining us. Minutes. All right, for, for about 15 minutes. minutes right now. No longer than 20 minutes to trip. So, you know, we realized that something was different because the sergeant came up and he was the same sergeant at the precinct. So the sergeant that was at the police department also works on duty. I think we got some. All right. These are actors, my All right, right. yeah. These de facto policy enforcers, you know, colonizers, and yeah. all foreigners. Delusion. So we just, you know, sitting here seeing what's going on. You know, it's a whole bunch of fraud going on. And, you know, everybody can't handle pressure. You know, it's a reversion of a state claim going on right now. And the de facto person called the policy enforcers on Raheem Malad Bay and had him unlawfully removed from his estate. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. You know, he had lien levy and bonded the estate and the de facto um, um, person <laughs> got um, wind up. So as we was going through our little congressional meeting, we get a call from the mall, and this is what transpired. So we had to come down and, you know, see what, why they detaining him. Hey, nobody cares. Nobody cares. And as you can see, they sent out their goons, because, you know, they're the alphabet gang. We know that, right? They're the alphabet gang. So, you know, we're being held here, detained against our will. Yeah, but you brought that on yourself. You knew that was going to happen when you left. I mean, let's let's be honest. If I had to guess, you probably don't even have genuine license plates on the car. Let me also guess. You gave up your uh, driver's license. You know, your traveler permit. It's long. Peace and Grand Rise. I'm pissed off. I know you. I know you. I know you upset. That. Well, why would she be upset? You're just pulled over on the side of the road, about to go to jail. I mean, come on. The night is still young. So as we sit here, you know everything is being unfolded. No, the the evening is unfolding. You are going to get folded. You know, documents is in order. You know, the council is focused and diligent. You know, and the corporation is being removed. You sure about that? All right. All their contracts are being dissolved. All right. So you know how it is. You know, when you're under pressure, you just start doing anything against the law. That's just it. Delusion. What they doing? They're going to hold us here and then pass me my paperwork and let me go. Ooh, I'll take things that are not going to happen this evening for 500 Alex. Good night. You talk about not being able to predict the daggone thing. Of course. That's all they want to do. They got nothing else. They got nothing. They can't do anything else. No! <laughs> yeah, so, you know, we sitting here patiently. was unlawfully pulled over. We tried to say I didn't have a state um, 
plate in the window or on the conveyance. It's not constitutional because it's not in their corporate trust. You know, I've been there before. You know, didn't have a driver's license, was willing to do anything to be able to just drive down the road. But I would love to know what goes through the mind of someone who orders these packets, spends these hundreds of dollars and thinks, oh no, I'm going to put this on my car. I'm going to carry this card and everything is going to be okay. And I don't have to pay nobody nothing. I mean, did you think about what happens if you crash into somebody? Do you think I'm going to take an IOU from you? Hell no. Hell no. And I'll follow you to the ends of the earth to make sure they get a hold of you. That's right. So, you know, this conveyance is in my private trust. They have no jurisdiction over it or over the people neither. So, it's on to that. Two thousand years later. March 23rd, 1948. Hey, Mr. Bay. Can, you step, can you step out for me? Hold on. What's the problem? I'm going to explain everything to you. Can you step out of the car, okay? Oh, but don't worry. There, there's nothing that, that they can do to you. They, they have to let you go. C certainly, you're going to be on your way, right? Thank you. I also know your name. The keys, the keys, the keys. God help me. You know, I'll be honest with you. If you just complied with him. I'm, I'm willing to bet, I'm more than guarantee that they'd have let you just give them the keys and they'd have been able to drive away as long as there, there's, you know, license plate on it and insurance. He tries to make a, like he's a superstar, like he's going to juke the, the officer and tries to throw the keys inside there. I've had just as many run-ins with bad officers as the next guy, okay? And I'm going to tell you from experience, they're not all bad. You know, get, get, give somebody the benefit of the doubt just like you want them to give you. However, I'd also tell you, playing games, messing around, giving them a hard time and to run around and all this, yeah, that's how you get your car impounded. That's how you get everybody walking on the side of the road. That's how you get the worst outcome. They are arresting him. What? I don't know what all they're hitting him with, but I did hear unregistered vehicles. So he did buy a packet. He did forego everything, and he is not driving on good plates. So surprise, surprise. And here's the kicker. They literally drove down to visit their buddy in jail like that. Geniuses. I told him to keep the keys on the car. I told him. Keep, didn't I tell him to keep the car on? Yeah. Can you pass me my phone up there, please? What's your phone at? You can't arrest him. You sure about that? Now they're going to try to impound the car. That's what they're going to do. Well, the good news for you, they don't have to impound the car. All you have to do is put the, the plate that's supposed to be on there and show them the registration. Oh, you don't have that anymore? Yeah. You're scr screwed. Yeah, you're totally screwed. He wasn't supposed to be. He wasn't supposed to get out the car. That's what we should be thinking. Uh, well, hold on. Time out. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> All that stuff. What do you mean that's when you should have protected him? How is it that you think you were going to be able to protect him? You think you was going to fight the officers to keep him inside of the vehicle? Uh, do you not understand how these are all extremely bad ideas? What? He says it's a bad idea. Because that, was, was, that a was a court action. They asked you and you would say what jurisdiction? <laughs> Uh, did 
get out of the car. Is that out the car? What's the cause? The cause we're taking the car. You guys are free to go, but we're taking the car. You know what's wrong with me. We gotta get the bag out the trunk. Let's go. Step out the car. I said, I'm, I'm saying I gotta get the bag out the trunk. I understand that. You gotta step out of the car. I'm, I am. I'm just letting you know. Get out the car? I gotta get the bag out of the trunk. You got something? I got my bag. I gotta get my phone out. Alright. I gotta get my phone. Step to the side. I gotta get my phone. I got it. I'll get it. Step to the back. Everyone step to the back. Everyone step to the back. Everyone step to the back.